Pneumothorax. Anatomy and Physiology. The inner surface of the thoracic cage, parietal pleura, is contiguous with the outer surface of the lung, visceral pleura. This space contains a small amount of lubricating fluid and is normally under negative pressure compared to the alveoli. Determinants of pleural pressure are the opposing recall forces of the lung and chest wall. Definition Pneumothorax, or a collapsed lung, is the collection of air in the spaces around the lungs. The air buildup puts pressure on the lung, S, so it cannot expand as much as it normally. It occurs when the parietal or visceral pleura is breached and the pleural space is exposed to positive atmospheric pressure. Pneumothorax is defined as the presence of air or gas in the pleural cavity, i.e., the potential space between the visceral and parietal pleura of the lung, which can impair oxygenation and or ventilation. Pneumothorax is the accumulation of atmospheric air in the pleural space, which results in a rise in intrathoracic pressure and reduced vital capacity. Classification Primary spontaneous pneumothorax, PSP, occurs in people without underlying lung disease and in the absence of an inciting event. In other words, air enters into the intrapleural space without preceding trauma and without an underlying history of clinical lung disease. Secondary spontaneous pneumothorax, SSP, occurs in people with a wide variety of parenchymal lung diseases. These individuals have underlying pulmonary pathology that alters normal lung structure. Air enters the pleural space via distended, damaged, or compromised alveoli. Iatrogenic pneumothorax is a traumatic pneumothorax that results from injury to the pleura, with air introduced into the pleural space secondary to diagnostic or therapeutic medical intervention. Half a century ago, Iatrogenic pneumothorax was predominantly the result of deliberate injection of air into the pleural space for the treatment of tuberculosis, TB. Traumatic pneumothorax results from blunt trauma or penetrating trauma that disrupts the parietal or visceral pleura. Tension pneumothorax is a life-threatening condition that develops when air is trapped in the pleural cavity under positive pressure, displacing mediastinal structures and compromising cardiopulmonary function. Pneumomediastinum is the presence of gas in the mediastinal tissues occurring spontaneously or following procedures or trauma. A pneumothorax may occur secondary to pneumomediastinum. Risk factors Risk factors for a pneumothorax include Smoking The risk increases with the length of time and the number of cigarettes smoked, even without emphysema. Genetics Certain types of pneumothorax appear to run in families. Lung disease. Having an underlying lung disease, especially chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPT, makes a collapsed lung more likely. Mechanical ventilation. People who need mechanical ventilation to assist their breathing are at higher risk of pneumothorax. Previous pneumothorax. Anyone who has had one pneumothorax is at increased risk of another. Causes. The cause leads to the identification of the type of pneumothorax. Rupture of a bleb. A spontaneous pneumothorax may occur in an apparently healthy person in the absence of trauma due to rupture of an air-filled bleb. Blunt trauma. Blunt trauma-like rib fractures could cause traumatic pneumothorax. Invasive procedures. Traumatic pneumothorax may occur during invasive thoracic procedures in which the pleura is inadvertently punctured. Penetrating chest or abdominal trauma. Trauma such as stab wounds or gunshot wounds could cause traumatic pneumothorax. Lung disease. Damaged lung tissue is more likely to collapse. Lung damage can be caused by many types of underlying diseases, including chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPT, cystic fibrosis and pneumonia. Mechanical ventilation. A severe type of pneumothorax can occur in people who need mechanical assistance to breathe. The ventilator can create an imbalance of air pressure within the chest. The lung may collapse completely. Pathophysiology Clinical manifestations Common symptoms of a collapsed lung include Sharp chest or shoulder pain, made worse by a deep breath or a cough. Shortness of breath Nasal flaring, from shortness of breath. A larger pneumothorax causes more severe symptoms, including Bluish color of the skin due to lack of oxygen 
chest tightness, lightheadedness and near fainting, easy fatigue, abnormal breathing patterns or increased effort of breathing, rapid heart rate, shock and collapse, assessment and diagnosis. Pneumothorax is assessed and diagnosed with the following. History taking, take a thorough medical and surgical history, also consider the environmental, developmental, socio-economic and personal history. Physical examination, a physical examination uncovers symptoms including lowered blood pressure, lowered blood oxygen levels, loss of normal breathing sounds on the affected side, a hollow sound when the affected part of the chest is percussed, a change in the location of heart sounds, thoracic CT, Studies show that CT is more sensitive than X-ray in detecting thoracic injuries, lung contusion, hemothorax, and pneumothorax. Early CT may influence therapeutic management. Chest X-ray, reveals air and or fluid accumulation in the pleural space, may show shift of mediastinal structures, heart. ABGs, variable depending on the degree of compromised lung function, altered breathing mechanics, and the ability to compensate. PAO2 occasionally elevated. PAO2 may be normal or decreased, oxygen saturation usually decreased. Thoracentesis, presence of blood serosanguineous fluid indicates hemochlorox. HB, may be decreased, indicating blood loss. Medical management. Medical management of pneumothorax depends on its cause and severity. Chest tube. A small chest tube is inserted near the second intercostal space to drain the fluid and air. For patients with jeopardized gas exchange, chest tube insertion may be necessary to achieve lung re-expansion. The priority is to maintain airway, breathing, and circulation. The most important interventions focus on reinflating the lung by evacuating the pleural air. Patients with the primary spontaneous pneumothorax that is small with minimal symptoms may have spontaneous sealing and lung re-expansion. Maintain a closed chest drainage system. Be sure to tape all connections, and secure the tube carefully at the insertion site with adhesive bandages. Regulate suction according to the chest tube system directions. Generally, suction does not exceed 20 to 25 cm H2O negative pressure. Monitor a chest tube unit for any kinks or bubbling. These could indicate an air leak, but do not clamp a chest tube without a physician's order because clamping may lead to tension pneumothorax. Autotransfusion. Autotransfusion involves taking the patient's own blood that has been drained from the chest, filtering it, and then transfusing it back into the vascular system. Oxygen therapy. The patient with possible tension pneumothorax should immediately be given a high concentration of supplemental oxygen to treat the hypoxemia. Pharmacotherapy The following medications may be used to aid in the management of patients with pneumothorax. Local anesthetics, egg, lidocaine hydrochloride. Opioid anesthetics, egg, fentanyl citrate, morphine. Benzodiazepines, egg, midazolam, lorispam. Antibiotics, egg, doxycycline, cefazolin. Surgical management. If the patient has had repeated episodes of pneumothorax or if the lung remains unexpanded after five days with the chest tube in place, operative therapy such as the following may be necessary. Thoracoscopy, video-assisted thoracoscopic surgery, WATS. Electrocautery, pleurodesis or sclerotherapy. Laser treatment. Resection of blebs or pleura. Open thoracotomy. The chest wall is opened surgically to remove the blood or air trapped in the pleural space. Nursing management. Nursing management of a patient with pneumothorax include the following steps. Nursing assessment. The nurse should assist the following. Tracheal alignment. Expansion of the chest. Breath sounds. Percussion of the chest. Nursing Diagnosis Based on the assessment data, the major nursing diagnoses for the patient are Acute pain related to the positive pressure in the pleural space Ineffective breathing pattern related to respiratory distress Ineffective peripheral tissue perfusion related to severe hypoxemia 
anxiety related to difficulty in breathing. Nursing care planning and goals. The goals for the patient include Relief of pain Adherence to prescribed pharmacological regimen Establishment of a normal, effective respiratory pattern as evidenced by absence of cyanosis Demonstration of increase in perfusion Be relaxed and report anxiety is reduced to a manageable level Nursing interventions Nursing interventions appropriate for the patient are Re-expansion the patient is instructed to inhale and strain against a closed glottis to re-expand the lung and eject the air from the thorax. Sterile covering. The opening is plugged by sealing it with gauze impregnated with petrolatum. Oxygen saturation. Pulse oximetry is used to monitor oxygen saturation. Evaluation. Expected patient outcomes include. Pain is relieved. Adhered to prescribed pharmacological regimen. Established a normal, effective respiratory pattern as evidenced by absence of cyanosis. Demonstrated increase in perfusion. Patient is relaxed and reported anxiety is reduced to a manageable level. Discharge and home care guidelines. Care of the patient at home should include. Asepsis. The site of incision should be handled aseptically to avoid occurrence of infection. Medications. Medications prescribed such as analgesics and antibiotics should be taken religiously. Follow-up Follow-up appointments should be attended to allow the physician to assess the surgical site and the state of your respiratory system. Activity Alternate rest and activities to avoid overexhaustion and difficulty in breathing. Complications The three main problems encountered when treating pneumothorax are Air leaks Failure of the lung to expand. Re-expansion pulmonary edema. So guys, thanks for watching my video. You can like and comment on my video, but don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel to watch quality content like this. Thank you guys.